are you doing today? Dirty old RC Belsov here, eh? Friggin' right. Today we're gonna do a little episode on the old RC stuff we are. Why wouldn't we, eh? Why the frick wouldn't we? So on the weekend, we were, like I said on a couple other videos there, we were camping and I had a bad weekend I did with the old RCs. Holy crap, boys. Just destroying stuff I was. So we'll start off with good old Traxxas here. ESC blew the side right out of her. Look at that, boys. Eh? Just dickered it is. Friggin' right, look at that. So I called Traxxas and they say to me on the phone, yup, our electronics are lifetime warranty. I'm like, decent. I said, well, I need a, a new uh, ESC for the old X-Max 8S, boys. I, uh, I've been running her for a few months on 8S, no problems. Threw some old friggin' 6S's in her because my batteries are dead and she blew up, she did. Friggin' right, but on one good note. Oh, let me finish though. So I called Traxxas and they said, yeah, lifetime warranty. I was like, all right, well, I need one of these. I'll send it back to you and you can do whatever you need to do. Well, they said, it's lifetime warranty on it, but uh, they want friggin' $120 US plus shipping to replace the friggin' thing. So you know what I say? Forget it, boys, eh? So I went out and I got myself the Easy Run Max 6, boys, for the old X Max, eh? Well, I'll just hit the bullet now and get her done. So that's what we're going to put in the X Max today, we are. And I don't know if I should run the heat, the fans on this or not. I see a few others online not running the old fans on that. Got quite a bit of heat distribution there. But uh, we'll kind of play that by ear too, we will. Freaking right, we will. So let's get this thing open. I just want to check it out real quick before we install our boys. We'll see what's really going on. There's tons of videos of this thing on the old in, on the old YouTube is there, but I like to read it myself. I like to take a look at myself myself. I do. Freaking right, I do. Oh, boys. She is gorgeous. That is one gorgeous piece of equipment, boys. Hey, eh? Look at that. Comes with extensions for the motor. Freaking right, it does. Hey, eh? If you need longer ones on the old motor ski, decent. Comes with some heat shrink zip ties and stuff to stick her down with. Freaking decent. Comes with... Oh, boys. Comes with pink, blue, black stickers. Holy, check that out. And the old ECU, boys. Look at that thing, eh? That thing is sexy, if you're in our season, it is. Look at that. Good from 3S to 8S, boys. Freaking right it is. That's freaking decent looking. Freaking right. It's got a little power button off to the side, eh? Doot, 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 doot. Decent. And the instruction manuals. The instruction manuals, boys. Why wouldn't it, eh? Why the hell would it? So size difference from the factory one. They're almost identical, boys. But this is obviously much nicer material, for sure it is. But they're the exact same size, so I can stick that down right inside again. Decent. So that would be a fun project for us. Why wouldn't it? So moving on. Moving on, boys. The old TXR4. I had her in some water I did on the weekend. Freaking right I did. And uh, the El Moto stopped working it did. So I was going to upgrade that to a brushless system. But uh, just too much money, boys. Hey, I don't feel like spending that much money. So I was able to get a new 21 turn 550 motor for 25 bucks, boys. Hey, you can't go wrong. So we'll throw that in the TRX4. Freaking right, we will. I got some parts for the old um, UDR. All I needed, boys, was them right there. Hey, I just needed one of them. But I have to buy that whole pack. Friggin' right I do. Just so you know, a big shout out to Dennis there. I'll put his link below there for the old Facebook page if you're in my area of the woods and you're in the RCs. Give old Dennis a call there, he'll fix you right up. The guy's decent, prices are great, and uh, customer service 100%. Friggin' right he is. So I'll put that link below. Go check out Dennis if you need some RC parts. Why wouldn't you? Hey, I would. And I had a blowout on the tires, which you know I glued, so I ended up getting four lightly used X-Max tires, boys. Freaking right I did. Look at that. Four pack. A hey, four pack. I'll tell you the price of them. Normally they're about 150 bucks for two, but uh, got a good deal on them I did. Freaking right I did. Thanks, Dennis. Why wouldn't you? Freaking right you did. We'll get right to her here in a few minutes after I take a quick little break here and finish charging that one, and we'll get that X-Max started putting back together. Freaking right we will. Okay, boys. Well, the motor's in without the heat sink for now. I'm going to try it and see how hot it gets. Now, a buddy of mine, Kevin, when he puts these in the old X-Max, a Ruski, he uh, cuts out the center brace. It saves having to take the motor and everything out and rewiring everything, and I don't feel like doing that either, boys. So I think I'm going to go with him. And uh, actually, you know what? They'll all fit, boys. So I think I'm going to leave it in, Kevin. I'm going to I'm gonna leave mine in, Kevy. Freaking right I am. Why wouldn't I? I'm going to leave mine in, bud. I think my wires are longer than yours. Freaking right I do. So first thing we got to do is 
set you up here somewhere where you can freaking see. Why wouldn't we? See? Why the hell wouldn't we? Go right on the car, boys. Can you see? Freaking right, you should be able to. Decent. So, first thing we're gonna do is clean off the base of that, put the little sticker rooski on there, and we'll stick her down, boys. Give her the old stick job. Why wouldn't we? Why the hell wouldn't we? Decent. Get out the sticky sticky. Decent. We'll slap this on here somewhere. Are you even watching? See it? Sticky pad, boys. So we'll stick, we might do this first. We'll stick that on there like this. We'll stick that on here like this. And we'll stick this on here like this. Oh. And then we'll go around that like that. Wedge it in here like this. Slide it back in there like that. Stick it down here like this. If I can get her in, boys. She's a little tight, she is. Friggin' right, it is. Get in there, you son beaver. There she goes. But she ain't sticking worth a dick. Why would it stick? For sakes. What do I have on there, boys? It doesn't want to stick. Boys. Well, that wasn't very good sticky stuff, was it? For sakes. What's really going on? So I'm going to resort to the other way, boys. A little bit of silicone. Do a little silicone down in there like that. Like so. Stick it back in like so. And we'll stick her down that way, boys. Hey, there you go. Freaking right, we will. So what I'll do while that silicone is drying is I'm going to put a zip tie across there just to give her a little bit of pressure for now. We'll put a pad on the nice aluminum fan, like so. Well, we'll get the zip ties in first, like so, boys. Zip ties in like so, boys. Freaking right, we will. Slide that through here like this. We'll lift her up. Look, she's already moving, boys. That's why you got to zip tie her in until she dries, eh? Make sure she's straight. Here we go, eh? Straight as hell, boys. Now, when that silicone dries, that baby won't move. It won't. Frig, no, it won't. Holy, how the hell? That's craziness, boys. Now what we need to do is find a spot for the switch rooski. Eh? Where are we gonna put the switch, boys? Somewhere that'd be easy. Under here, maybe. That way it's protected, eh? Freaking right. We'll figure that out in a minute. But for now, we'll ram it to cam this baby through here. Like so. Let's get rid of the old ram job, boys. Let's get this stuff out of the way so you can see what's really going on. Slide that through there for now to hold her back, boys. I'll slide this in here like so. Like so. Why wouldn't we? Upgrading the old X Max Kiss. Oh, decent. There we go, boys. And this goes around here, down here, and around here, like so. A little more wire than normal. Holy. We want channel two, boys. Channel two ski. And I can't even friggin' see ski. How the frig do you even see? Channel one. Channel. Holy. Boys. I can't see. My eyes are getting bad, they are. Friggin' right, they are. Channel one, channel two. So we want a little channel two action. Channel one, one, two, two, eh? One, one, two, two. So we'll slide that into channel two. Perfect. We gotta run this in here like this. Down around here like this. Are you watching? In here like this. Gotta wedge her in, boys. Actually, we can't wedge that in yet because I gotta bring some more stuff. We'll bring the old temperature switch rooski through. For the old doodad. Even though I don't even know if this works now with the old doodad, but it might. So we'll check it out, eh? Friggin' right we will. Why wouldn't we? There we go. We'll stick this through. And I'm gonna have to look up and see which way this goes because I cannot remember. Can't remember. Why would I remember? Pair of pliers to pull her up, because, you know, my fingers are too big for this kind of work. Give her a little Yankee Doo. Yankee Doodle Dee. Throw that in there. Decent. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to look at the instructions, because I can't remember what the hell I did there. For frick's sakes, why would I? We got the little fans, too. What do you think, boys? Fans or no fans? Fans or no fans, boys? I'm going to have to pull all that back out just to put the fans in. For frick's sakes. I'm going to leave them out for now. I can always put them back in. I know a lot of you are probably saying, no, put the fans in, idiot. But, hey... It is what it is, it is. Okay, boys, the wiring uh, for the the uh, temperature sensor, boys, in the motor. The gray one goes in the first channel, or whatever it is, a 12 volt. The second one goes in auxiliary on the first day, and then the the, the ESC goes in channel two, and the other one is in the old channel one ski. Friggin' right, so there we go. I had to go look at a picture for that because, you know, it's me, right? So what I like to do to this part now is, I like to uh, grease her up a little bit, boys, hey? A little bit of grease job on her. Helps keep the old water out of her ducts, eh? Always the first time I remove the lid, I always put a little bit of grease around her, boys. A little bit of grease don't hurt nobody, it don't. Keeps that seal a little softer, it does. Helps waterproof the, the old jalopy up, hey? Freaking right. So we'll slide that back in and on. Somehow. Somehow, can't remember how, but somehow, boys. So there we go. I probably just dicked it over because I'm pretty sure that other piece needs to go on first. Why wouldn't it? Because it tucks under, doesn't it? Oh no, it doesn't. We're good. So we can bolt that piece down with a little screw gun action wherever it went. Way the hell over here. 
So we'll give this a little screw job. A little screw job. Easy. There's one side, boys. Here's two side, boys, eh? Be easy, careful, gentle with the old drilling, boys. Just so you know, eh? Just so you friggin' know, eh? We can shove this back in here, like so. Somewhat, somehow. Anybody else have a hard time with these things? Friggin' right, you do. Don't lie to me, boys. Mine will get you nowhere, it won't. So I'm just gonna kind of fold it up and wrap it up in here because I can't freaking get my fingers in there. Like so. Uh-oh, what's going on here? What's really going on? Just tighter than dicks. Of course that's right in the way. Why wouldn't it be? Just so you know, boys, gotta move this over, you do. Why wouldn't you have to? Can you see what's going on? I have to move the wire over to the next groove because the antenna is right in the friggin' middle of it. Why wouldn't it be? So it interferes with the wire coming out of the ECU, eh? Boys. Oh, frig. Just cocking over my program here. Friggin' right they are. Oh, I might have her. I think I got her, boys. Friggin' right I do. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, oh, eh? Oh. Oh, boys. What a spot for that goddamn thing. Honest to frig. Oh, oh, oh. I got her, boys. Don't, don't move, eh? Don't move. You move or dick. There's one. There's two. Decent. We just gotta figure out where we're gonna put this switch. I'm thinking right there, boys. Holy, we're almost there. Why'd I come over top of that? Why didn't I go under that? Why wouldn't I? I'm not taking it apart, so screw it. She is where she is. So now what I gotta do is I gotta cut this up, heat them off, and take these off. Freak. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. But I don't get off. So, cut that off like so. And we'll cut that one off like so. And now I want to keep that splitter doodad and bobber thing and bobber in there. And I got to get that one out, boys, without breaking it because I haven't got any extras. Why would I? So the best way to get these back out, I find, is to take a poker tool and poke it down the middle of the one you want to save, boys. And then you just give her a little tappy tap, eh? Tappy tap. There she goes, boys. So now what I want to do is I want to put that in here like so. Grab my torch like so, wherever the hell it went. Decent. Heat this up, like so. There we go. Decent. Take the other one. Could have been down that road before we have. Holy, that thing got cooked, boys, and then some. Friggin' right it did. So now what we need to do, positive goes to positive, negative goes to negative, boys. Is that right? Where's the battery, boys? So if we go here, plug it in, positive, decent, and decent. That's it, boys. Just like that, eh? Oh, just want to bring something to your attention. This battery here was bulged up like a balloon it was. And when the ECU blew up, the battery went <laughs> and it's still freaking golden. Hey, I charged it and everything. So I don't know. It must have had a high rate discharge and fixed itself. So no balloonage on that battery anymore. That's freaking decent. So if anybody's having any problems with uh, with their lipo batteries blowing, like getting fat, just burn out your uh, ESC, boys. Hey, that's all you need to do. Bring right, ESC, U, U, ECUS, EJ4, whatever you want to call her. Call her what you want, eh? So now what I want to do is I want to put some solder in there, like so. Are you watching? Probably not. Put some solder into here, boys. Decent. Stick this in here, boys. Decent. Give her a few minutes, why wouldn't you? Pull that through here like this, somehow. Decent, there you go, boys. There's one, eh? There's one. So now we need two. Where's number two, Ski? Where'd I put the dirty whore? Oh, where in the F did you go, mother effer? For F sakes. How do I get so much crap on a bench in like five seconds here? Oh, I know why, because I'm making a video and I don't care about cleanup right now, I just want to get her done in the video. I'm rushing myself, that's what it is. Friggin' right it is, and I rushed myself right out of a piece, eh? Gone. Oh, there it is, on the ground. Why wouldn't it be? We'll get the old Torcherewski fired back up, somehow. We'll get the old solder. Do the same thing, boys. Heat her up. We'll give her a friggin' dab, boys. Stick that in there like this. And let her friggin', let her, let her, let her rip, boys. Friggin' right, you're gonna let her rip. There she is, eh? Now, while it's hot, pull it into this part. There we go. Friggin' decent. So, we should be ready to plug batteries in, boys. I'm scared, boys. Here we go. Oh, I just got to get the clippies back to normal. Decent. Decent. I'm scared. Friggin' right I am. Looking for the X-Max remote, boys. Where's the X-Max remote? Friggin' right I do. Wrestler. That's a wrestler. Slash. That's his last boys. X-Max. There it is. Friggin' right it is. All right, so let's turn the remote on, and we'll turn on this. 
decent. So I gotta program it, obviously. Gotta do some programming, we do. Oh my god, they're having a pretty list, is this thing? Warning! Program your EC ESC, boys, with a button. Alright, with the ECE ESC switched off, turn on the receiver. Done. Press the power button while holding the set button to power on the ECU. Okay. Press this and this. Decent. LED will flash red and then green. Decent. Oh, easy. All right, let's shut this off again. Let's read the instructions first. Well, boys and girls, what an ordeal today it was. Friggin' right. I got them all back together and running. The UDR's got the new friggin' doodad and whatnot. The TRX4 has a Bob's Your Uncle. Slash has the new tires on it. The X-Max has a new uh, Hobby Wing. Max 6 in her. The new tires. I'm just waiting on a drive axle, I am. Friggin' right. But anyways, like I said, don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, hit the notification bell bar button. But the reason why I come back on is because I shut the video off because I just got so friggin' frustrated earlier. When this guy blew up, it took out the receiver too. Okay, took out the throttle receiver. So I had to put take the one out of the Spartan and use it and I'll have to get another one of them. But I was just having a hell of a time, couldn't figure out why nothing was working, and that was the reason, boys and girls. Freaking right it was. But hopefully everybody had a good day and I'll cobble screw something together here for you. And don't do anything I wouldn't do and uh, you know what to do for now.